you must be having a problem with putting your products or services out there. And I do not just mean displaying them. Actually, your identity is not noticeable and it's difficult for you to stand out from your competitors. You are on the right channel because from today, today, actually from today, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I've been doing, everything that I know, everything that you need to know about branding. So if you're ready for the journey ahead, why don't you just click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever we upload a new video. So today I'm going to share with you three things that you need to know about branding. I will explain to you what branding is. I will give you reasons why you need to do branding. And three, I'm going to show you three elements. I'm going to show you the elements of branding. So what encompasses branding, what you need to know about branding. And with that, let's start. So what is branding? Branding is more than just the logo or that catchy slogan that you have for your business. It is about the entire perception that people have about your business, your products, or your services. It also involves defining the brand's values, personality, and positioning it in the market to differentiate it from your competitors. But why is branding so important for your business? Branding helps you build on your identity. It will help the consumers to realize and recognize you from amongst a wide range of competitors that you might be having. Also, it helps build trust and loyalty because the values that you have, it will already automatically con reconnect, you know, make the cus customers to identify you and build trust because you, or maybe it's, it's about consistency, maybe it's about the, the values that you hold in that particular business or service provision that you're having it will build that kind of uh, value system. It will build that trust and loyalty so you have returning customers. A well-executed brand will help you with pricing because it adds value. That's why you see some customers, some clients, they will, they will just be like, you, you, you're selling them a product, they, they ask you the price and you say that it is such and such amount. And they say, are you serious? Because maybe they, they were expecting that that particular brand will be like that high or you know, not, not that low, you know, because you, you did a, a, a good job, because you did a good job trying to do your branding. So it adds value. So number one, the importance of that, it helps establish your identity. It also establishes trust and loyalty, and it adds value. Those are the three things that you need to know when you, that is very important for you when you're doing branding for any business, product, or service that you have another thing you need to know is that branding has the elements three elements of branding you have the visual the brand messaging and then you have the brand experience so what people see what you communicate and how people feel that's the moment they start getting your products or services so the visual aspect is what you have the logo the typography the colors the imagery you know everything that you see outside here this is the visual right this is a product this is the visual, the, the exterior, you know. Now, what are you communicating? How are you selling your product? The, the communication you're giving it. You're using social media to communicate a certain, a certain message. What tone are you setting when you're communicating that particular message? So how do people perceive now they bought this particular bot? What experiences do they have? That's why it's so important for you to pay attention to the testimonials, the reviews that you're getting on, from your customers, the referrals. If a referral has been done done about you you know get somebody and saying that i heard about your business on, from such and such a person pay attention to what they're saying because that is a very fundamental part of branding it will help you to make that brand of yours even much better when you're going to do when you when you when you're improving it branding also helps you add value and it will help you to address that issue of pricing because when you do proper branding People will not even argue about the pricing. You, sometimes you go to the to the market and you you you, you look you look you, you see a very nicely designed packet, and it's looking so nice. You know the visual aspect of it, and then you go there at home and then you start using that. It is pathetic. That is not a complete branding because they only focus on the visual. They do not focus on the actual user experience. So we've already laid the foundation. You've already known the definition of branding you've seen the importance of branding and you've seen the elements of branding let's meet in the next episode so that i can talk more about this <music>